Innovating Education Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation. For some years now, teachers have been looking at changing the way classrooms work and how they can use modern technology to become less of a sage on the stage and more of a guide on the side. Rather than using homework periods to consolidate teaching that happened in the classroom, flipping means absorbing new information at home and consolidating it in the classroom. Salman Khan is one of the leaders in the world of video teaching. His global internet school, khanacademy.org, contains thousands of video tutorials and they are watched by millions of people a month from all over the world. And it is completely free. What effect has this had on traditional education systems? Did he set out to change the role of teachers? We asked him these questions and more. Salman never expected to become an education guru. He was working as an analyst for an investment fund until 2004, when his 12-year-old cousin, Nadia, who lived in another city, asked him for help with her maths homework. Okay. So, you know, so let's say that they do a... So we started tutoring over the phone and we used the internet in any way we could to see what we were each writing. And uh, it worked out. Uh, long story short, she was able to overcome her math weaknesses and actually become an advanced student. And so then I started tutoring her brothers. What I want to do in this video is see if we can prove one of the most famous formulas in history. It could look like this, it could look like that. And so when we set... We call those the roots or the zeros of this quadratic. You know, that's where I was getting a lot of the satisfaction of my day. Uh, it got even better once all of these people around the world started using the content. I mean, just getting these thank you letters, for me, that was more meaningful than any bonus I could have gotten at, at, at my, you know, my day job. In 2008, Salman founded a non-profit organization, Khan Academy. A year later, he quit his job to work full-time on his new mission, providing free, world-class education for anyone, anywhere. Today, thanks to sponsors like Google and the Gates Foundation, Khan Academy offers around 3,500 videos in English on its website, covering a range of subjects from maths to science, history or art. It's used by around 7 million students worldwide each month. Um, we have over 7,000 videos that have been translated into different languages. The biggest three have been Spanish, Portuguese and Bengali. We've gotten over 1,000 videos for each of those languages. Summers in Miami can be hot. I'm the Academy's totally goal is to use technology to rethink traditional education. Excellent question, LeBron. Let's first... We keep pushing them ahead, almost guaranteeing that at some point they're, they're not going to be able to comprehend something because they have all these gaps that we're accumulating. We think it should be the other way around. You should get a variable chance to understand something, as much time as you need, when you need it. One solution is flipped teaching. In Auckland, California, University High School tries out the Khan Academy's method. In the maths class, students are independent. They study the lessons from the videos at home. Then the teacher helps to explain further in the classroom. This is one of the exercises. This is the list of all the students. Dark blue means that they have finished it. Orange means they've finished it, but it was long ago, so they need to review it. Red means they're struggling to finish it. So this is a really good way to just see where the students are at a glance and figure out who needs help right away, who needs encouragement to get started, um, who can help other students because they've finished everything. Jose, for instance, is five weeks ahead. We don't have to stay to the pace of the other students. Like when we understand something better than other people, we don't have to stay, stay doing the easy stuff or else you can move ahead to stuff that's more challenging. And other students can choose to spend more time on each lesson. If we need help, I could, um, we could repeat it again and again until we get it. After school classes are also run for those who are falling behind. As Salman Khan explains, his method is there to help, not replace the teacher. One, one thing that I, I'm careful of is I don't view Khan Academy as a cost cutting device. I say, whatever resources you have, we want to optimize it. In the United States, 15,000 classes already use his method. He hopes to expand it around the world.
virtual learning projects like the Salman Khan Academy have encouraged teachers to redirect their teaching methods and orientate them towards individual needs. We went to Norway and talked to a teacher and a student about their personal experiences of flipped classrooms. Let's take a look. In Norway, Anna Katrin makes video lessons on mathematics. This has led many students at the high school where she teaches to change their attitude towards the subject. It's fun when you manage, and it's frustrating when you don't. With the video lessons, Gunhild has got a tool which helps her manage and understand many more mathematical problems than before. It's great because I can repeat the video and get things explained many times. That means I always have somebody around to help me with my homework. Gunhild is one of the students at Sandvika High School near Oslo, taking advantage of the school's innovative maths teacher. But Anna Katrin Gotas is also internationally recognized for her innovative methods. She explains what inspired her to come up with the video lessons. I did a web-based specialization in maths myself using video lessons. I liked it very much because I could repeat the instructions several times and suddenly I understood it. Then one of my students asked me to repeat for the third time an explanation of a problem. There's no time for it, I said, but I'll make you a video to explain it. Since then, Anna Katrin has now flipped her lessons entirely. The students learn the basics at home, giving her time to explain the more complicated concepts in person in the classroom. This gives her students the maximum time possible to be with her during the more challenging problems. Instead of struggling at home with difficult exercises, not having parents to help them, something that happens quite often, and more so higher up in school as the material gets more complicated, the students can watch an easy video at home and do a couple of simple exercises. In this way they'll come back to school and get the real challenges where the maths teacher is and can help. Instead of having to search in the book, you get a thorough explanation of how to do things. And you can always go back and check those videos before tests, how it works. So that's great. By using an interactive platform, Anna Katrin can also communicate with her students. In this way, she gets feedback on lessons, the students can ask her questions, and she can control the students' homework. If they've worked with a video at home, I can see that, so more people actually do their homework. Then they're better prepared when they come to school. And when a student already knows some of the material, they'll learn the next part more easily. In order to meet the needs of more advanced students and complement her own teaching, Anna Katrin also makes use of video lessons made by others. She thinks this method has great advantages. The students think differently and learn in different ways. What seems to be a logical way to solve a problem to one student doesn't seem logical to another. At Santavica High School, maths is on the schedule the whole day, for five hours, once a week. This creates a need for variation of teaching methods, with sometimes innovative results. So, what do you think about flipped classrooms? Could it be the future of education? Would your child benefit from this kind of teaching structure? Do you already know someone, a teacher or a pupil, with experience of working in a flipped classroom? We love reading your feedback. Goodbye. Learning World, in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.